the need for Khilafat. Whether it be Luis Enrique who won Barcelona 19 trophies, be it Thomas Jefferson who led America to independence, or be it Sir Steve Jobs who led Apple to becoming the most successful company in the world, these great personalities and many more tell us that we direly need one thing, leadership. Leadership is what every institute, company and club needs in order to be successful. So when it comes to Islam, should that change? Well, of course not, but the question is, what kind of leader do we need? Let's take a look back into the past and see for ourselves what kind of leader we need. We need a leader who cares for us. A leader who despite being so busy, manages to find the time to reply to our letters, listen to our worries and even engage with the youth. We need a leader who prays for us. Like when a man requests a Khalifa of Allah to pray for the successful birth of his son. He prays all night. So much so that even after the birth, when the man has even fallen asleep, the Khalifa lies prostrate in supplication. We need a leader who guides us. A leader who constantly shows us how to improve and how to live together as one big loving society. A leader who doesn't forget to mention the men, women, rich and poor. A man to whom all his children are equal. We need a leader who leads. A leader who steers the world to peace. A leader who despite facing fierce persecution never gives up or shows signs of frustration. Gentlemen, this is Jama Ahmadiyya UK and this is what Khilafat means for us. I don't have land here, I don't have any physical farm here, yeah? only the physical farm now is the whole of the community. Yeah? And uh, you are the selected fruit trees of that farm. We need Khilafat and Allah has given us Khilafat. The question now remains, how faithful are we to this great leadership?